So I have a student who asks a very good question on one of my prior YouTube clips. It says, thank you, Michael. Really appreciate your hard work. It's helping many students. Do your high yield PDFs contain concepts from N NBMEs 25 through 30? Okay, now it's a good question. You will get two camps of people, essentially. Some students will say, oh, I'm hoping your NBMEs do not contain concepts from 25 through 30. I don't want my scores artificially inflated on those forms, so maybe I shouldn't look at your PDFs if they, if they contain points from 25 through 30. And then you're going to get other students who say, oh, like I want them to be fully updated. Like they should have all the points from 25 through 30. So even when I do those exams, I can easily just look at those PDFs and have the points consolidated out for what I need to know. So you're going to get opinions in both directions. But irrespective of those uh, countering views, my PDFs are updated with regard to NBMEs 6 through 18, okay? And then some of the PDFs, biochemistry and immunology in particular are updated through NBMEs 24, okay? Now, once again, there will be some students who say, oh, really? Like, Mike, I thought your PDFs were updated through 30. Like, shouldn't you update those PDFs? Other students will say, I'm glad they're not updated through 30. Look, the concepts repeat, okay? Think of it this way. I have inculcated repeatedly in my prior clips that you should be memorizing NBMEs 20 through 30 for step one. So think of it as like your job, your primary job, the same way you've gone through your world, right? Your primary job is to study slash memorize NBMEs 20 through 30. And then what I've done is essentially given you all of that offline material prior to 20, that will only facilitate you on 25 through 30. So you get my PDFs, 6 through 18. Some of them th are updated through 24. You're going to memorize 20 through 30. And you've essentially, you have that full spectrum of NBME material solidified for your real deal. I will continue to update the PDFs. I will, okay? It's a, it's a balance between, you know, how I make content. I can make clips such as this. I can make new PDFs altogether. MSK anatomy, that's, I will make that, don't worry. I will make a path PDF. So there will be new PDFs altogether, as well as updates to the other PDFs. And I would say, especially through uh, maybe later this year in 2022, we will start to see updates uh, regarding my other PDFs, including NBMEs uh, up to 30, okay? The exam is going to be pass fail next year anyway, so it actually doesn't really matter, does it, for step one? I mean, the PDFs will help you get that pass that you need. And then with regard to step two, the concepts are all required on the step two exam as well. Although you're going to have a lot of next best step in management questions, you still need to know your basic concepts, okay? Like what's cardiac tamponade? What's pericarditis? How do you diagnose them? So the concepts are all going to be important to have those PDFs updated so that you see those questions on the real deal, okay? You know the deal, I'm gonna to continue to make more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel, and I appreciate your time, that's it.